In larger aircraft, there is more than hydraulic pressure needed to hold landing gear in the up or down position. They have mechanical up locks and down locks. I will use this training aid to demonstrate some of these ideas. First, this represents the nose gear on an aircraft, and the position of the landing gear will hold the doors open or closed. This view is from inside the aircraft structure looking at the nose wheel. The doors are caught on the oleo strut and close when the gear is up, and they open when the gear is extended. Here is the same thing looking at the training aid. Notice the gear position indicator in the bottom corner. This is the gear up lock mechanism. This will hold the gear in the up position even if the actuator gradually loses pressure to a bad seal. This is the down lock mechanism. It will hold the gear in the down position and make it impossible for the gear to begin retracting under the loads of landing and takeoff. Back to our large aircraft. The main gear is able to retract into the bottom of the aircraft and remain locked in place until needed again. Now a view of the up locks. Crunchy. Here's a better view of the up locks. In case you didn't catch that, here it is again. And here is the gear going to the down position. And again, because it is small and fast. Even the gear doors will lock into place. It would be bad if one of these decided to open mid-flight and get ripped off from aerodynamic forces. The plane even knows when to sequence opening the doors and closing the doors. All so we can have a safe flight and landing.